Our top focus on centre stage tonight. Political temperatures in Delhi are soaring. Attacks and counterattacks are getting more vicious and more personal. Within 24 hours of Kiran Bedi's induction into the BJP, the Congress lashed out at the former top cop, questioning her change in stance over Modi and accused her of being an opportunist. Here's a lowdown of the day's developments. जो पुलिस कमिश्नर बनने के स्वप्न लोग से अब मुख्यमंत्री बनने के स्वप्न लोग में आई हैं। The sharpest, possibly the lowest attack on the newly inducted BJP leader, who could soon become its chief ministerial face. It doesn't come easy. This acknowledgement comes after huge amount of hard work. If they are acknowledging it, not that I was waiting for any acknowledgement, but if it is coming, I'm very, very grateful to them. The fact that I'm in the election fray itself is a beginning of a responsibility. Let the next step come. Let's let's surmount the first step. But tweets critical of Narendra Modi dating back to March 2013 came back to haunt the top cop turned politician. Jaychand, why did you say? मैंने तो एक कविता लिखी और एक कविता सामान्य बात है कि भारत के इतिहास में जब कि कुछ महान होने वाला होता है कुछ बड़ा होने वाला होता है कुछ बड़े आमूलचूल परिवर्तन होने वाले होते हैं तो वो लगातार ऐसे लोगों द्वारा आहत हो जाते हैं जो उसकी मूल धारा से विरत हो जाएं ओ अब जो उनको कहना बहुत अच्छे वो तो कवि है उनको बोलो कविता ज्यादा बोलो वो तो बहुत अच्छे कवि है किरण बेदी हैड अर्लियर सेड दैट शी वुड नेवर ज्वाइन पॉलिटिक्स Kiran Bedi had earlier criticized Narendra Modi. So now suddenly BJP has started liking Kiran Bedi and Kiran Bedi is speaking good about, about Narendra Modi. But while the Aam Party leadership tried to talk politics, the Congress did not hold back. In another development, speculation over Shazia Ilmi joining the BJP ended with her official induction into the party by Amit Shah. Bhajpa could also join before, Congress could also join before, you could also come back. But I saw six months and I thought that there is a new way of political discourse, a new way of political discourse, a new way of political discourse, and I want to be a part of it. 21 days for Delhi to vote and the BJP is managing to dominate the public discourse. But the Congress with its increasingly vicious attacks and the Aam Aadmi Party with its exhaustive campaigning are fighting hard for public mind space. Bureau Report, headlines today. Our talking point tonight, can the ladies Kiran Bedi and Shazia Ilmi challenge Arvind K. Jival in the battle for Delhi? Have these inductions boosted the BJP's prospects and will this be a setback for the Aam Aadmi Party? Let's take that question to our panelists this evening. Shikha Roy, Delhi BJP Vice President is with us live from the national capital. Also with us, Aatishi Marlina, she's a spokesperson of the Aam Aadmi Party. She's with us in our Noida studios this evening. I want to come to you first, uh, Aatishi Marlina. Shazia Ilmi is a, was a co-group member of the Aam Aadmi Party. Has her entry into the BJP left you rattled? Also the fact that when she left the Aam Aadmi Party, she had said that she was upset and she felt let down by the dictatorial style that was practiced uh, by Arvind K. Jival. It's completely lots of bad press for her. See, absolutely. I do agree with the fact that she had left over some differences, but those differences were organizational differences. However, the Shazia that I knew was a crusader against corruption. The Shazia that I knew was a crusader against crony capitalism. She was a crusader against communalism. Now, BJP represents the confluence of all three trends, corruption, cronyism and communalism. So I am definitely surprised at Shazia's joining the BJP because I wonder what has changed. Has the BJP changed? Have her principles changed? It is definitely surprising. Absolutely. And Shikhar, I would you like to respond to that? Yesterday it was Kiran Bedi, today it's Shazia Ilmi. Is the BJP so uh, short of big leaders that it needs to import them from outside? No, nothing like that. <laughs> See, anybody, anybody is who's for development is joining BJP and same way Kiran Bedi ji and Shazia has joined BJP because as uh, I was hearing about uh, Shazia that she was a crusader against all this I think she was a uh, right person uh, at a wrong place 
now she has found her place she knows where uh, she should have been and she's come to that so she's the right person now uh, in the right place right so right, but uh, mr roy does the industry of kiran bedi and chazia ilmi exposed the bjp's desperation kiran bedi had questioned narendra modi's role in the 2002 gujarat riots chazia ilmi had said that uh, he would uh, upset democracy and put a question mark on it and now we can, you can understand two leaders who who who, who not really attached yeah. with the powerful See, political parties they, wanting to enter the bjp but the bjp also wooing them and willingly accepting them also exposes uh, how desperate the bjp is See, it may have been uh, their we point but now Uh, they know they are categorically karan ji has said that i have seen that now modi ji is the only leader who can uh, uh, lead the country so i think uh, by the by the performance of modi ji by what he is doing as what he had promised so uh, i think now that they have joined bjp as a member of the bjp uh, uh, categorically saying that they uh, they uh, uh, they are the uh, by understanding the ideology of what modi ji is doing and appreciating that they both have joined bjp all right and atishi malina i want to ask you kg about strength is that he has a clean reputation he's seen as a fighter kiran bedi and shahzai almi basically bring the same virtues to the table why do you think people would then vote for kg wal and not for a kiran bedi No, absolutely. I'm not denying that Kiran Bedi has a credible image. That Kiran Bedi has a clean image. But can Kiran Bedi rescue the res the sinking ship that is the Delhi State BJP? I think what this move of getting Kiran Bedi and Shazia into the Delhi BJP has shown that BJP has admitted that they don't have any leadership. They have already conceded defeat. I think in the Ram Leela Maidan rally we saw something interesting. We saw that to defeat one Arvind Kejriwal the BJP needs one prime minister, three chief ministers, 400 MPs and now they also seem to need Jaya Prada, Kiran Va Kiran Bedi, uh, Shazia Almi etc. So I think the fact that BJP is going all out to find a litany of people who can come and contest elections uh, against the aam aadmi party goes to show that they admit that their position on the ground is weak that their leadership is weak and that they lack a vision for delhi if this hadn't been the case why would they not have projected their own leaders but adishi malina at the end of the day you're seeing big inductions for the bjp one one day was kiran bedi one day chaudhary and vijay prada as you're saying is also on the verge of uh, joining the bjp cc she's in talks fact is there are no big names there are no big names who are joining the aam aadmi party anymore has the original euphoria died down he wanted kiran bedi to join politics if she Absolutely. would have joined aam aadmi party then i think then these questions would not have arisen as to there is lack of leadership or anything like that now that she joined bjp why such ma'am we had been asking kiran ji to join politics and that's why we welcomed her as soon as she made this decision yeah. but the thing is if, that if she would have joined your party i think she definitely would have has a credible image like she definitely why has so? seen image i mean why this question of the lack of leadership when she has joined bjp because the question about Definitely the lack of leadership is going well, to be actually malina i have a question party. for you no i have I a question for you please, why please, are there no ahead. big announcements being made as far as the aam aadmi party is concerned no there are no big inductions that are happening there everyone seems to be flocking towards the bjp has the original euphoria died down for aap then i think what you need to see is that in the past 6 months we have made a remarkable recovery on the ground we have really gained ground there's a ground swell of support now behind the aam aadmi party and the bjp has actually lost ground in delhi therefore we at this position don't actually need new people to join us to give us strength our strength is coming from the ground from all sections of society that we have been reaching out to and that's the reason to be honest that i think the bjp is jittery second we have been over the past two months engaging with different sections of society via our delhi dialogue program be it the youth of delhi women of delhi etc and why are that we have communicated our vision for city for the city the bjp for the past few months in delhi has been busy fighting amongst each other therefore maybe they haven't had a time had some time to articulate their vision for delhi so on both these counts of leadership or vision they have been lacking and that's why they've needed to make this attempt we since we have vision and we have leadership we have not needed to make this last minute desperate attempt to do so Shikhar Roy, would you want to respond to that? Fact is that the BJP's no, Delhi office, What at least Delhi party, is a divided house. It's a known fact. Elections that they say that they've gained grounds. See, they they've seen the results in the Lok Sabha elections. What new the Aam Aadmi Party has done or uh, given to the people that they say that now for the past six months they have gained ground. Rather, on the ground, 
and practically but people Ms. Roy, know I want to ask you if the BJP uh, is in fact so confident center, of winning so Delhi by this desperation to win in our induct new leaders also the question is that if you aren't worried about us gaining ground, why do you need one prime minister, three chief ministers, 400 MPs to come and campaign, and a Shazia Elmi, that and a Kiran Bedi, and a Jaya Prada against one Arvind Kejriwal? So Please I think it does, it does go had, to show. They had run in these four states. That was a reception ceremony for these chief ministers. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mr. Roy, I want, to, I want you to respond to this. I want to know if the BJP was in fact winning, if the leadership actually thought that they had a real chance of getting a majority in the national capital, why would they get, uh, why would they induct or import new leaders? You could have put up, uh, propped up any BJP leader against Arvind Kejriwal if you actually believed that he was on a losing streak. Absolutely. What induction? Or if somebody believing in an ideology says that I want to join party, what do you mean by import and induction in that? We, it is, she is welcome, uh, she has joined this party, it, it's not that somebody has forced her to do that. Absolutely Shikha Roy, I don't know what's forced Kiran Bedi or Shazia Ali, but fact is if they hadn't joined that the BJP Delhi unit had no faces. She knows that so, Modi ji can lead this so, country in a very good way, Modi is giving a good government. Absolutely, but Shikha Roy, fact is, that is, why she's fact is BJP. that the BJP needed a Kiran Bedi. Didn't the BJP need a Kiran Bedi? See, if, Who if else would Kiran you have propped up against Arvind Kejriwal? Kiran Bedi, that is not induction and import. If, if he invites Kiran Bedi, as he said so, that he already he told, he asked uh, Kiran Bedi to join politics, then it, it is not induction and import. And when she joins BJP, I don't know why these questions are being raised. No, but she's also somebody who's questioned Narendra Modi on way, several counts. Way, she also questioned way, his Kejri past Valdi record as chief and minister. And party men are scared of this, that Kiran Bedi ji is now in BJP. Well, so you are saying that Kiran Bedi is a formidable candidate. Of course, because that's something, knows that's something that the Ahmadi party also agrees with. Everybody knows her integrity. Simi, Absolutely. Simi, 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 is Simi, clear uh, for the thing everybody. is that there's a clear reason why the BJP needed someone which, who would provide new leadership. The fact of the matter is, two days ago, the Delhi state BJP leader Satish Upadhyay and their vice president Ashish Sood have been exposed as having a nexus with BSES, the very discom provider whom all of Delhi is up in arms against. All of Delhi can see, see that we have, have faulty meters, have the meters run too fast, to and those meters this, have been installed by the Delhi BJP president. Also. So now you have a situation where you have a muffler man in the Aam Admi Party and meter man in the Delhi state BJP. Of course they need new leadership and that's why in a last ditch attempt see. just three weeks before the elections they had to go all out and find new people who can at least give a credible face. Shazia you had, can't say Shazia that the person, who is, the call, person right. who is putting Sha faulty Shazia meters is our state BJP president. suffocated in the party, Aam Admi Party that there was autocracy, right. there was nothing like democracy, that there there was no say of the party workers in the party. That's why All right. she left the All right, All right, Ms. Atishi Mali Nanchikar. Thanks so much to both of you for joining us this evening. This is the talking point that we are discussing tonight. Will the two leaders, Kiran Bedi and Shazia Ilmi, be able to provide a strong challenge to Arvind Kejriwal? Of course, the induction of Kiran Bedi has come as a huge masterstroke by the BJP. But will the party be able to turn things around with this big new induction? Shazia Ilmi also expected to provide more fire power to the BJP. Thanks so much both of you for joining us tonight. The other big story we're tracking here on center stage, the build-up to the premiere of Gurmeet Ram Rahim's film MSG was nothing short of a blockbuster. There was action, there was emotion, there was drama. From Delhi to Punjab to Haryana, massive protests were organized against the release of the film, but it all ended in an anti-climax. Jugal Purohit reports from Gurgaon. <laughs> Unprecedented scenes at IT city Gurgaon. Hisar erupts in protests. Flag march in Amritsar. Agitation spilling over Bhatinda and Rotar. Rapid action force, parliamentary forces and local police. Pull out all stops. The announcement of the messenger of God special screening took Punjab and Haryana by storm. 
It was anti-climax out here in Gurgaon. The Dera Satcha saw that Chief Gurmeet Ram Rahim had made arrangements according to his own estimate to house around 3 lakh people for this extravagant premiere of his movie had to actually postpone his plans because he did not have a written order permitting him to do the same. As full-blown political war between the messenger of God and his political arch-rivals played out, the battle lines were drawn on the streets. The INLD and the Akalis raised the banner of revolt. Anybody who makes a film, anybody who's an actor, uh, should respect the, uh, uh, the religions, should uh, uh, respect the sentiments of the people of India. It doesn't mean that uh, you can just go ahead and do all the Tandav and Natak you want to do on uh, uh, cinema. I believe uh, that is a basic objection and the objection is about the money which is involved in the film. It ended in an anti-climax with the Baba cancelling the screening that didn't get the film certification APLET tribunals written order in time. हमारा तो प्रीमियर है बेटा जब आगे सारी संगत हम राम नाम गा देंगे हम कंसर्ट कर लेंगे अगर ये फिल्म वाला नहीं होगा the political color, however, is hard to miss. The Dera Satcha saw the chief of controversial entity had extended wholehearted support to the yeah. Serfian party, a factor widely believed to be behind the BJP surge in Haryana. It now seems has paid back the Baba in its own way. However, the question over the release still remains and that has given another reason for the protesters and supporters to carry on with their own struggle. With camera person Krishan Kumar in Gurgaon, Chugal Prohit for Airlines Today. The MSC controversy ruffled quite a few feathers. The chief of the Central Board of Film Certification, Ila Samsung, put in her papers. She was reportedly upset with the Apple Tribunal giving the movie a green signal. Our executive editor, Javed Ansari, gets us a lowdown of all the action that took place behind the scenes. Interference, coercion, corruption. Hours after reports surfaced, that the film certification appellate tribunal had cleared the controversial Dera Satcha Sauda founder Gurmeet Ram Rahim's Messenger of God, Leela Samson put in her papers as the chairperson of the censor board. She said she was tired of keeping the system clean and trying to do her job. And within hours, another member, Ira Bhaskar, also quit. Precisely to make the system transparent that we were making many suggestions. Those suggestions, unfortunately, have still not been addressed. Our letter to the minister is still lying in their files. And the current minister may want to look at those minutes and that letter that we had given in. And also the request that was forwarded to the ministry in August of 2014 asking for a board meeting. There is no response to that. That is not the way in which a board can function. To sort of see a film because they have to study the various aspects. But this is the first time I think that the tribunal has been set up within 24 hours of having uh, the, uh, going to Delhi that they have cleared the film. The alacrity with which the appellate tribunal cleared the film has led to allegations of government interference. There was a difference in opinion of the five-member examining committee which resulted in the film being reviewed by the revising committee. The second committee unanimously rejected certification on grounds that it encouraged superstition, blind faith and promoted unscientific acts among other reasons. The government hit back. Leela Samson has denied that her resignation has anything to do with the certification provided to the messenger of God. But her resignation along with others does reflect upon the politics that surrounds autonomous bodies including the censor board. With camera person Faizan and Rohit Khilani in Mumbai, this is Javed Ansari in New Delhi for Headlines Today.